Back in July, our bow thruster quit working. We uh, decided to replace the AGM batteries with lithium batteries since they had more current and more life. But the BMSs in the lithium batteries seem to be cutting out when they should be able to provide 600 amps, which should be more than enough for the bow thruster. And so we're doing some analysis work with the oscilloscope and a current probe here to determine exactly how much current the bow thruster is using and how much each individual battery has been pulled out. Each battery provides 300 amps and they're in parallel, so totally should be able to pull out of the bank 600 amps. Join us as we continue to do more exciting testing of bow thruster batteries. Later. Peace, Bill. I'm Jeannie. We're two do-it-yourselfers met on a sailboat in 1988. Three houses and four boats later, we're refitting our 1998 Seahorse Oceaneer 55-foot steel trawler, Blue Sky. Welcome to our journey. We're down in the bow thruster compartment to do current measurements on the bow thruster. So we're going to bring the oscilloscope back down and uh, attempt to do readings on the bow thruster and on both battery packs so we can get a really good understanding of all the current that's being drawn and then decide what our solution is going to be, which I'm afraid is going to be a couple more batteries, but I can always be optimistic and hope that we don't have to get two more batteries, but that's probably going to be the case later. Okay, so we're going to set that guy like that. I do want to disconnect that battery. And I can leave the other ones on for the moment. Right there. Get that up to the level. There's channel one. Okay, other probe. Yeah, that's a little better. So right now the yellow line is current, and right now zero is being drawn. And then the other line is the voltage which is showing 27.6 volts. Right now, at least if I bring up measurements, it does. But if I click that off, you can see it drop down. And I'm actually gonna put it over there, so we should see that turn on when Jeannie turns the stuff on. Okay, dear, turn the switch and stuff on down here. Turn battery. Okay. Bow battery. Yep. It's on. Came on down here. Turning the panel on. One way for just a second or so. Yeah. Turn the breaker off. I turned everything off. Okay. There is some roughness now I'm feeling. I don't know. Maybe there's something in the tunnel. We haven't ever got the camera GoPro out to take a look at that. Okay. Power everything back up. Turns on. Bow's on. Bow's not on. I turned it on, but it's not coming on. Well, I wonder if it killed the batteries. They need to be reset. Great. Okay, give it another go. Three, two, one. Did you lose power? No, the batteries are both still on. Okay, let's go the other way then. It used to be the port side we were having issues with. Yeah. Now we're going to the port. Three, two, one. I thought it worked just fine. Yeah. Now. Yeah, but I didn't, didn't get a triggering. Did the battery stay up? Okay. Uh, but my trigger's not working. Why am I not getting any trigger? Okay, I'm gonna reset my trigger mechanism here. Let me know if the battery comes back. Going to port. Three, two, one. Okay. Now we're going to the port. Yeah, it didn't trigger here. So let me change that to falling and see if it'll trigger on that. Okay, let's try it again. To the port. Three, yeah. Yeah, and again, we didn't get a trigger. I don't know why it's not triggering. It either either the probe is not working, or I just have something wrong. I don't... Do it again. Three, two, one. Good. Very short. No, that's a voltage. Let's try that. Three, two, one. Man, the only thing it triggers is voltage. I can see a slight twitch on it. Okay, try it again. Three, two, one. Why do I change the source, you silly thing? Trigger single. Okay, try it again. Three, two. 
Still no trigger. It keeps changing these settings after I set them. I have no clue what this damn oscilloscope's doing. Well, not a real successful evening. I think the new Amperage Oscilloscope Pro that I purchased, I don't believe it's working correctly. It was never seeing any current being processed by the bow thruster. Or if I did a trigger on the voltage turning it on and off, I could get that trigger to work, but then it wouldn't trigger when we're actually running the bow thruster. And then finally for a test, I re-enabled the toilet and had Ginny cycle it and it should be pulling, you know, 20 plus amps. It was saying, oh yeah, you're pulling maybe a half amp or something, even though my volt amp meter was showing 35 amps. So yeah, that little amp meter's not very good either. Probably gonna have to replace that meter. Later. Okay, we're getting ready to run some GAT5 to add another camera into the bow thruster area so that we can look down in here without having to open the thing up every time when we're needing to inspect anything. But the first thing we gotta do is we gotta get a Cat5 wire from in here all the way up to the pilot house. Later. I am getting ready to run that Cat5 wire from the bow through the storage room, I think through the equipment room, and then up into the pilot house. Well, it'll go up into the foyer and then into the pilot house. Come along with me. Okay. Here we go. That am all tangled up. Oh, boat yoga. I made it. Now we are gonna go through this long track. I don't know what it's called. A race, a chase, and then up into the equipment room. Here we go. Here it goes. I'm getting worried. I'm not going to have enough of this stuff. I'm not going to have enough. It's coming up through a hole in the floor there behind this power reel. I'm not sure what that's called. And I can't see it, so I have to get down there. Where the heck are you? Oh, I did. Wow, he's all the way up here. I think it might be long enough. Woo. Ooh, I wonder if I can go through that back hole. I got this wire going all the way up through the hall. Now we're gonna go up to the pilot house see if we can see the wire here. That is somewhere below this bench. And there's a mess of wires in here. Let me see if I can find that wire. Ta-da! There's the end of my wire. And I guess it's gonna plug in somewhere in here. Yay! Now I just need to finish cleaning up and make the labels. Later. So I made the labels. And now I'm gonna put them on. Well, and then the other one will go... To the other end. I am putting the RJ45 cable on the end of this guy. I already have the label on, put the protector on. Now I need to cut the sheath. Oh, about there. I'm gonna put them in this order. Green, green, orange, blue, blue, orange, brown, brown. Here's the RJ45. Green, green, orange, blue, blue, orange, brown, brown. Somewhere, here's the tester I passed. We're reinstalling the bow, the bow compartment camera because the front of the camera is not the direction that they point the, the camera. No, no, no. The back of where the camera is, is where they point it. Obviously makes perfect sense to somebody. <laughs> so now yeah. we're gonna go see if we can see the camera working. There's the bow compartment camera up and working. There's the bow thruster. The MSD, one of the batteries, and of course, you can move it around and look at, you know, there are those batteries, and you go back to the other side, there's the other batteries, and of course, this is in night mode. That's probably the view we will leave it on most of the time. Later! Knocked all the rust off of this, well, lasered the rust off a number of spots here. And then up here, we did these undersides, which just... Uh, rust magnets. Anyway, we will uh, 
paint all those. Oh, and we also did down there. There was a big rust blob right there in that corner. Yeah, and then another little section up here by that that we did. A little bit more up in there. Just little spots all over the place. We also worked on that. And then we had some spots here that we had just put paint on but had not really removed the rust. So and we did up there too. But and this all started because we were wanting to figure out where we're going to mount the camera on this side. I'll bring you back when we start painting later. Let's see, what do we got here? We have white. So we are going to go mix up some white epoxy here. One ounce of the hardener and three ounces of the paint. So let's start with the hardener. And the reason I start with it is it coats the bottom of the cup and prevents epoxy from sticking. Of course, I just need a tiny amount here, so this will be fun. A little bit more. Oh, and it smells like rotten eggs. Always so wonderful. Okay. So we have one ounce of that. Now we'll get some white out. Yep, that is the white stuff that needs to be stirred. It's a little better now. Maybe one more, one and a half more. Yep. Yeah, just a tiny bit more. We're gonna go with that. It's watching paint dry, more boring than paint being stirred. Now we gotta wait 15 minutes for this to dry. If you like our videos, let us know. Hit the like button, or better yet, leave a comment. And definitely subscribe. Later. Later.